hats, hats, and more hats. You make one of these, everybody you know is going to want one. This is a super, super duper easy hat, you guys. And today, uh, for the tutorial that I'm going to show you how to make these, or I'm going to share with you how to make these, I use this lovely Red Heart Granny Square. This is called Black Espresso, and I love it. Works up beautifully, as you can see. And there are some pictures um, at the end of this tutorial that show this specific hat all worked up. And so what did I use today? I used a couple different hooks. For the body of the hook, I mean of the hat, um, this part right here, I used a six millimeter. And you can use whatever size you want, like if you are making something for you know, a person with a smaller head, you know, you will use a smaller hook, obviously, and if you are making a larger hat, then you know you're gonna use a larger hook. Um, Basically, the way that this has worked is in a spiral, so you can keep on increasing. You'll see exactly how we increase in this step-by-step -step tutorial. Uh, if you would like, like I said, more space, keep increasing until you have the desired amount of rounds for your crown, and then you can just start the body, which is described in this video. Um, so it is very adjustable, adaptable. You can add a pom-pom which I love, this one's mine specifically. Um, <clears throat> you can add a pom-pom if you want, or you can just leave it plain. It doesn't really matter, whatever you want to do. You can switch up and use different yarns like I did in here. I have to actually you know, finish weaving those in. And these two are made from scraps too. I just used a ton of little scrap pieces. Um, for this one too, my daughter wanted pink and black, so I just took all my pinks cut them into some pieces and interweaved it with a little bit of black sparkle and just plain black. But you know, you can do whatever you want. So like I said, for the body, we're gonna use a larger hook. For the brim, um, only this part, we're gonna use a smaller hook and two strands of yarn. As you can see, I've used two different colors here, but on all three of these, I use black. I just happen to like the black better. It looks more, I don't know, I like it, but this is exactly the same way. It just looks, you know, it's more heathered. So, you know, whatever you want and whoever you're making this for, you know, they're all gonna want different stuff. So if you're ready, oh, we're also gonna be needing a stitch marker to keep track of our rounds because we are not gonna be joining. It's just gonna be one big spiral. Okay, um, so I'll meet you over in the crochet corner in just one second. We're gonna start off with a chain of two. Your first chain, make it a little bit large like that, and then make one more chain. We're gonna make six single crochet into the chain. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and then we have our little tail right here. Okay, so we're just going to pull that like so, so that your circle closes up. And then now we're just going to make two single crochet in each stitch. I'm going to mark that first one and then just make all of your single crochet around to right here. Okay, so we've completed round one and round two. Now it's time for round three and we're just going to do the same thing. Actually, we're going to make two single crochet in each stitch around. Make sure that you keep track of where you make your first single crochet for each round. All right, so two in each stitch to right over here. Okay, so now we have completed round three. And so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to single crochet in the next two stitches and then two crochet in the next stitch. So let's remove our marker. So we're gonna go 
single crochet in the next two stitches. Okay, and then we're going to make two single crochet in the next stitch. And you're just going to follow this all around. So one in the next two, and then two in the one after. All right, and then go ahead and follow that all the way around. Okay, so we have completed round four, and round five is just going to be to single crochet in each stitch around. All right, so one single crochet all the way around to right here. All right, round five is done. Now we're ready for round six. Round six is gonna be single crochet in the next three stitches. Don't forget to mark your beginning of the round. And then we're gonna make two single crochet in the next stitch. Three. Two. All the way around. All right, round six is done. Now we're ready for round seven. Round seven is going to be single crochet in the next four stitches. two single crochet in the next stitch. All the way around. All right, we have completed round seven. Rounds eight and nine are just going to be single crochet in each stitch around. Be sure to keep track of the first stitch of each round. Single crochet around two times. Now we finished rounds eight and nine. And as you can see, your hat is taking a slight like bowl shape, which fits really nicely around the head versus just a flat top. All right, so we're ready to start round 10. And what we're gonna do is single crochet in the next five stitches. I'm gonna mark my stitch now. And then we're going to make two single crochet in the next stitch. And follow that all the way around. Five single crochet and then two. Now we finished round 10 and round 11 is going to be just two single crochet in each stitch around. We finished round 11, and now we're ready for the last increase round, which is round 12. And so we're going to single crochet in the next six stitches. Two single crochet in the next stitch. And 
and go ahead and follow that all the way around. See you right back over here. Yay, we have finished the lid to our hat. And so from here, we're just going to single crochet in each stitch around, so from rounds 13 onward, and however many rounds you need will be determined by how long you want your hat to go down. Uh, you know, if you want it covering your ears or not and, and things like that. So go ahead and keep crocheting until you have the desired amount of rounds and then we'll be ready to do the next part, which is the cap. Okay, so now our hat has as many rounds as we want and I'm going to be using black for the bill. So if you're going to be using um, the same color yarn that you're going to need to use both strands, like so the one from the middle and one from the outside because the bill calls for two strands. Or if you have two yarns, you know, two skeins that are the same. So I'm going to go ahead and I've got my last single crochet here. I'm just going to slip stitch into the next stitch and pull my yarn through like that. Okay. And I'm going to leave this to at the back. So that's going to be the back and we're going to get a smaller hook for our bill. So I went from a six millimeter to a five. You'll, you know, whatever you want to use that's smaller. If you only want to go like five and a half, that's fine. Um, I just like the, the complete downsize. Okay. So I'm going to place my stitch kind of like in the middle back like that. Okay. And make a slip stitch on my hook and then let's see I'm gonna just eyeball I mean you can be like super exact and count you know exactly how many stitches but it doesn't really matter and I'm gonna be close to the middle anyways so what we're gonna do is we're going to single crochet in the first two stitches of you know wherever you want to start and then we're gonna make two single crochet in the next stitch single crochet in the next two and you're going to do this until you have 22 stitches across. You can do less, you can do 20, you can do more, you can do 24, but just remember we're going to keep going outward for a couple of more rounds. So the further out you go the first round, then the wider your brim or bill is going to be. So keep going across until you have 22 20, 22, or 24 stitches, whatever you desire for whatever size hat you're making. So row one of the brim is finished and we're just gonna lift up a tiny bit there to give ourselves a little bit of ease, not much. And then we are going to, in the back loops only, we're gonna single crochet in the second stitch and then each stitch to the end of the row. So skipping that one that our loops are coming out of using the back loops only. Single crochet, I'm gonna mark my stitch. Lots of strands of yarn to go through there. Okay. And just continue on down the line. Single crocheting all the way down um, into the first single crochet of this of the first row. Okay, so we are almost done with row two, but first we have to crochet into our hat. So we're going to yarn over and make a half double crochet in the next stitch in our hat right here. And then we're going to slip stitch in the next two stitches. Go ahead and turn. I'm gonna lift up. There we go. 
and then you're going to single crochet in the second stitch. You were going to use both loops this time. You don't have to mark these, I'm really just doing this for the video. So single crochet using all the horizontal loops back down to the end of your row into this single crochet here. Okay, so we've completed row three. Go ahead and turn and we are going to single crochet in the second stitch and in the next three stitches. Then we're going to single crochet two times in the next stitch. Oops. Three single crochet in the next stitches. So one, two, three, and then two in the next stitch. And then go ahead and follow that um, to the last stitch right here. And we are at the end of row four. So we're going to half double crochet in the next stitch of the hat right here. Slip stitch in the next two stitches. All right, so we have made our last two slip stitches and I'm just going to snip these off with enough to weave in and pull that through and then just let those hang in there like that. Okay, so this is what our hat is going to look like prior to us making a last round to tighten it all up nice and neat. And whoops, oh, to do that, we're going to go back to our size bigger, which for me is a size six. And I'm just gonna come right back to the back stitch that uh, I finished up from the very last round of the hat before we started the bill. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our slip knot on our hook. And I'm gonna make half double crochets for the last round of this hat. So you can start anywhere in the back, really. I'm gonna start right here where this next, this would be a single crochet, but it's actually just over the slip stitch. So we're gonna yarn over and insert your hook into whatever stitch you want. Then yarn over and pull up, and then just hold your threads, yarn over and pull through all three. And go ahead and make sing or a half double crochet. You can use single, I just like the way the half double crochet finishes. It just looks neater to me. So go ahead and crochet all the way around, catching your stitches pulling your threads in like that from the last snip off that we did all the way around until you get right back here. And then let's check it out and see how this is gonna look.
Yay, we are finished. I hope you guys had fun making this if you followed along. And it's so easy, super carefree. Everybody's gonna want one. Just like I said, I mean, you. I already got orders for these like as soon as I put them on social media. So if you are looking for something that's fun and easy to make, um, you know, this could be it. And until next time, peace out. Thanks so much for kicking it and happy crochet.